Hi all, this is an update on Buddy Good's gimbals. Uh, there's been a change to the board and that would be the reset button is no longer mounted or soldered to the board. Um, so what we're doing here is this. Let me turn this unit over. This is a Phantom 2. It has a one of Buddy Good's gimbals on it. It's the Golden Gimbal. Um, and this is the new board. And what I did is just soldered. I picked these up. Uh, these micro switches, momentary switches at Radio Shack. They have little pins on the back and you just simply push it through the two holes and solder it in. Now you have a switch that's really easy to find and it's really sturdy. The alternative to that would be to use one of those switches. The one on the right goes onto the board, is soldered onto the board. The one on the left I'm using kind of like a remote switch. Say if you had it on uh, you know this craft right here you've got a lot of room to to mount a switch so you might want it rather than trying to stick your finger in here and you know, just like you're taking the board's temperature the gimbal's temp you know I don't want to stick my finger in there I just want to quickly go boop and reset the gimbal so what I do is I would solder a lead onto the board and put the switch on the end of it. So now you can mount it off to the side. Wherever you want. Just uh, on this, this is one of the metal boards, CNC boards. And these are still pretty good. They work well. Um, and you got two plates uh, with the board in between them. And on the old style, you had to stick your finger through the board and, and try and find that little button and hit it. I got pretty good at it, but it sure would be nice, and will be nice, to have this remote button on it. Um, both of these switches can be bought at Radio Shack. That's what they look like again. The one on the right used to have two little pins coming off the back, but I desoldered it from a defective board and ruined the, uh, the switch. So, that's what happens. I'll go ahead and post these numbers. Uh, the, the switches on the left came with four in a bag and the one on the right came with two. Um, okay, a lot of people are asking how I mount the gimbal to uh, the underside belly of a DJA Phantom. Uh, there's three hard points on, on the front and they're, they're holes, one on each side and one in the center. You can probably see them. See the three washers? And there's two brass spacers and a plastic one on in the center. See those spacers? Uh, it's screwed through the bottom plate. This is, a, like I said, the gold gimbal, so it's actually three plates. But the, the top mounting plate is screwed in from, from right in there. You have to split the board to do it. <coughs> it can be done. It's not that big of a deal. But uh, that's what it looks like when it's on. These are really cool gimbals. Now this, you know, it's full FPV. I've got the cable that goes, that powers the GoPro, eliminates the battery, and gives the video feed to the video transmitter, which is on the back. Boscam 32 channel unit. There it is. 32 channels. There's the, uh, oops, the accessory battery. And you already seen that part. Anyway, it makes for a sweet deal. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, good luck. Um, if you have questions, email me, call me, send a smoke signal. I'm there for you, and we'll talk to you soon. Good luck. Goodbye.